Let's see if we can find Betty. Things are going better for Betty and me. We're just making us a baby that's just like me, only better. It's funny to me that, that guy's just on like NPR all the time. Probably was already on NPR. I just always think of him as the portal guy because he does the songs to, that he ends of both portal games. But he's just on NPR like all the time. Weird. Jonathan Colton. Wow, more ferals. Hello. How'd that not hit that at all? Wow. Shotguns sure have range. They sure do. <laughs> you guys got this? You guys got this. I can pretty much just watch this happen for a bit. Pretty water. That was a nice warm up. Betty! The milk tech. You are off the premise. Do you try to milk the canids? Milk a cow's detected nearby. Returning to slug maintenance worker. Oh. I do believe Betty was trying to milk them the arcanids, which I mean they're mammals or something like that. I mean they're probably not mammals and that they're aliens. Everything here is probably not technically a, a mammal. Because it's an alien. And it would not share that genetic pool. Holy shit! Those dashes that they do in this expansion. They, it does accomplish at least one thing, which is that it's very hard to target them with your gun. Because <laughs> they dash straight through you and then just kind of vanish somewhere. It's like fighting an army of tracers, except they aren't nearly as dangerous. Grilled and split fish, it looks like, and then just another sprat. Do you guys like eating sprats that much? Like, you just do it all the time. I feel like there's usually better options. And just leave them alone, they're cute. Little alien buggo boys. I think I can climb up top, which might mean that they want me to, to find something? Did you hide something? Nope. Not this time. Well, then back to it. Hey, I almost can't believe it. Betty found her way back. Here I was thinking I'd never see her again. One malfunctioning mechanical, as promised. She was trying to milk canids. Oh, Betty, you big goof. What were you thinking in that little metal noggin of yours? You nearly worried me to death. And you, ain't you just the most reliable freelancer in the colony? Let me just take a look at Betty here and we'll talk about payment. Yep, that's right. Her parameters for movement and target acquisition are a mess. I'll bring her back to the garage and get her sorted out. Since Betty's back safe and sound, I'll be sure to let my coworkers know that you're a good one. Here's some money for your effort. Least I can do to show my thanks. Try to keep an eye on her this time. Oh, I won't be turning my back on Betty again, believe me. Thanks again for all your help. You really saved us both from the edge. Wait, where'd she go? <laughs> Where even is Betty? I believe you turned your back on her. Can't even tell where she is. <laughs> All right, we still have an, a missing person somewhere. Back at the checkpoint, though. I must have missed the spot to investigate. So that was relatively brief. At least it was, uh... I was worried the wilderness would be, like, way longer than the Purpleberry area was, but that probably was shorter. All things considered. What's going on over here, though? I figured the person was missing deeper in. Did you 
hear that someone tore one of the doors to the dining room from its hinges? Bertie again? Bertie again? He was duly embarrassed. Something about not knowing his own strength. <sighs> if I ever meet that man, remind me not to shake his hand. Oh, Wilderness Exploitation Reserve. Scary primals, just all around. That would not encourage me to go check it out. <laughs> it's really dangerous. Gotta be a back entrance or something. Somewhere, maybe. Oop. Oh! Okay. <laughs> that momentum just kind of carried me for a while. But yeah, that zone looks so much bigger than the purple berry area, so I was a bit concerned. Ba boom. Wilderness checkpoint note. Evan, remember, cards tonight. If you don't show, I'll set a raptor down loose in here with you. I'm kidding, but don't forget, you hear? I need help knocking B down a rung or three. She's had me writing field reports for her all week. Botanical operations building. Cards tonight. Fritz. Is that where things go wrong? Deadeye assault rifle. Low DPS. Mm. Yeah, it's a single shooter, isn't it? Yeah, it's a single shooter, ain't it? It seems to be pointing towards the middle. Fast travel is probably unnecessary. <laughs> I mean, it was, but yeah, I thought this was gonna—I thought this quest was gonna take me into the wilderness area. One more building I haven't necessarily seen the uh, in contents of yet. Can I get it a beep beep beep? Friend? Okay. Probably not going to attack on site. I'm done with. I'm kind of done with those. Analysis concludes. The losing player used an overly cautious strategy that led to an insurmountable deficit in points. Didn't Vargas describe Evan as overly cautious? I guess it showed in his play. Slug discipline records show a half dozen reports of illegal gambling in games of chance on company property. Perhaps there's evidence of an ante for this game? Maybe he had a gambling debt someone cashed in on. Beep beep beep. Hello? We don't toss troublemakers out of airlocks. We just throw them over the edge. What airlocks? We're on a planet. A slug employee schedule. Under Crew C, Purple Berry Orchards and Connector Complex, someone has scratched out a name and replaced it with Evan O'Connell's. Mmm. So they got stuck at the Orchards Connector Complex, which means he's probably dead because everyone there is dead. If they're talking about the bridge. So he lost a bet and had to go there for work, and now he's probably dead. That connects to the hotel. Beep, beep, beep. Hello, Sublight Underground Agent. Please remember not to fire your weapons at hotel guests unless no one is around. Lockdown alert? Alert to all Sublight Underground Agents. Until further notice, the Aerodynos Atmospheric Complex is under lockdown. No person is permitted to arrive or depart from the complex without explicit permission from Mr. Ken Cannon. From Crew Quarters Terminal to L. Vargas. Under control. Hey, Ms. Vargas. Wanted to let you know everything's under control. Situation's normal, just a small weapons malfunction, and a slight gas container combustion. Workplace hazard, really. 
Maybe if you actually trained us, instead of spending all your time shouting your overinflated head off, Slug would need to buy itself a new wall. Oh well, live and learn, yeah? Someone not part of your crew. Again? To anyone on my idiot maintenance crew who's still alive and not actively on fire. I've gotten a dozen reports of an explosion in the generator room. Last I recall, I sent a team of you hull heads down there for routine inspection. Please, please tell me you remember to shut down the Void Forsaken generator before you started, started jabbing around in there. Tell me you at least remembered that most basic of safety procedures. Because if you forget, again, I swear on my mother's grave, I will find out. Then I will find you, and if, and I do mean if, any of your organs are still functioning after I've finished with you, I will rip them out and sell them to the nearest sp Spratwurst vendor, which will make maybe half a dent in the monetary damages you've caused in Slug's be on Slug's behalf. I think you're telling me that they're not even... They're, they're probably not even costing you that much money if you can sell their body as Spratwurst meat and make the money back that way. That can't be that much money. Kind of dampened your own goddamn point, didn't ya? Checkmate. Something mighty strange went on earlier. What happened? Norval get his cap stuck in the toilet again? Not today. I was carrying a bag up to the second VIP guest floor earlier. Even for our guests, it was spectacularly heavy. Wow, exciting. I wasn't finished. I took a bad step and dropped it. Know what spilled out? Rocks. Whoever owned it was just making me carry it around for fun. Oh, that's mean. I thought it was the backstory of how the b the cow got upstairs. I got a birdie poster. Attention, the Grand Colonial Hotel is seeking a new volunteer engineer. Skills include elevator maintenance, electrical engineering, civil engineering, computer engineering, quantum engineering, knowing when to keep problems to oneself. The employee who accepts this position will be expected to carry out their existing duties at the hotel for no additional payment. Talk to your supervisor if interested during your 14, your 15 minute break. And don't forget, with more hours logged each week, the closer you get to winning the free tour. Wow! You can, get, you can win a tour of the place you already work at? Fuck you. Oh my god. That's so many skills you need to have just to add engineer to your list of tasks without actually getting more money. Or any benefits, really. Gross. This is where the, the bellhop break room, apparently. Oh, what the? oh my law, there's a wasquito in my sandwich. Whoa, are you all right? You get stung? Nah, I noticed it before I bit into it. It's dead, thankfully. Still, though, that was... Why are you looking at me like that? I mean, are you gonna eat the wasquito or not? If not, I mean, I finished my spread. Just saying. Yeah. I am horrified by the food they're eating. It's just a sprat. It's not even like... It's not even like prepared sprat meat. It's just a sprat that was maybe cooked whole. Dig in. Wow! I haven't felt this great in ages! I wonder what happened? Uh, have you been infected by the bad bad? That might be what happened. Happy workers lead to happy customers. Happy customers are repeat customers. Wow. I hate it. I hope you catch the killer soon, Inspector. I don't want to see the Grand Colonial shut down. I hope you catch the killer soon, Inspector. Oh my god. I don't want to see the Grand Colonial shut down. You, uh, hear about the murder? How the hell could I not have heard about it? We couldn't even leave our rooms earlier while security was sweeping for evidence. Well, maybe you were asleep? Since management started issuing mandatory caffeinoid supplements, I haven't been able to sleep. It's making it hard to tolerate small talk. Oh. Subtle hints to shut the fuck up and leave her alone, apparently. I was a few minutes late with room service earlier today. Guest I was trying to serve shot at me with a revolver. I left the drink and ran. Oh, something like that happened to me once. Hammersmith exec called me up to her room, saying she needed help with something. Yeah? Turned out what she needed help with was testing a new Hammersmith heavy machine gun. She technically shot around me instead of at me, but it was still pretty... 
surprising. You're not valued as living beings. Fuck everything. What's that? The safe? It looks so weird. The room B1 keycard. Are you aggroing on me? Incoming! Oh my god. Up and I won't have any new battle scars. Isn't there just food around? I mean, I guess they are just eating you. Wait, did he- did she- Have they had to catch their own sprats? In room A3, please. Can someone come help me? Oh, that's alarming. I can't open the door. How do I save them from room A3? That's worrying. I'm feeling weak. Please just open the door. I'm not sure how much longer I'll make it. Um? Uh... Someone help? Wait. Half-eaten bellhop? What the f- I'm trapped in room A3. Please. Someone come help me. I'm feeling weak. Please just open the door. And I'm not sure how much lo longer I'll make it. The door. The door is stuck. And I know I need to write a service request, but I can't get it under the door. Is anyone there? Jesus. And the sprats got to her or something? Meanwhile, apparently this wall was just open, so I've got questions about how much they struggled. Trace amounts of sprat saliva on the cur on this current stump, former arm, indicates the starving bellhop fed the starving creatures with her flesh. It's a shame she was unwilling to eat herself first. Not arm. She says an ar her arm's just sticking out of the toilet. To whom it may concern. Please consider this note as a service request to, uh, fi uh, to fix A3's faulty door. I deeply apologize for not op following proper protocols with this inform formal request, but this terminal is broken. Too broken to submit a service request form to fix it. I normally would never thumb my nose at our standard operating procedures, but I've been stuck in this room for several days now and I believe I will likely starve to death quite soon. Well, I hope to hear from someone soon in regards to processing this urgent request. Thank you. And then she couldn't get into the door. She's had this like insultingly polite thing just sitting there. She just died next to it. No one even checked on her. I mean, everyone has mandated caffeinoids and can't sleep ever, so... And has 15 minute breaks, so... Everyone's just losing their minds around here. Did you beep beep me? That's weird. They took the fridge. What a weird detail. Uh oh. Bad boy parasites. Babe, babe, babe. Oh. I 
I wonder if there was another way I was supposed to find this place, like if it was connected to the rest of the facility. Oh my god. Yeah, I've actually been running into situations where I can't hack. I was so used to skating through so much of it. That was, uh, poorly chosen. Don't, not a good, not a smart move. Ooh, that's closed. Oh! That giant sprat is also just eating someone. Um. You guys. This place is a nightmare. <laughs> There are so many employee fatalities that I don't understand how anyone still is left. These are like just the recent ones that I'm he here to witness. Okay, l seriously, what does it have? A hundred thousand health? <laughs> Numbers got big. That's silly. It ate a bellhop! You'll never even do like a- oh, there's a guest. You'll never do like a roll call or something? I guess we have kind of like our first confirmation that Yes, the uh, sprats will just eat people. To whom it may or may not concern. It's an engineer's final note. I don't understand why I deserve it to be terminated. I was your engineer. I fixed things. Your time clock was malfunctioning. You were logging one hour for every ten I put in. How is that fair? And yeah, I admit it. I wanted that free tour to the distillery. I put in my ten thousand hours and I deserved to, be, I, I, to wet my throat with a little spectrum violet. I didn't know accepting that free tour meant I'd join the Rizzo's family. You know I can't read fine print ever since that welding accident. I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. Catch a freight back to the groundbreaker? Sublight won't pick me up. So I guess that means I'm going to talk to Mr. Ludovico, hat in hand, and beg him to employ me. Sorry, I take that back. I won't have my hat in my hand. Turned, I turned that in with the rest of my personals. It was a stupid hat anyway. Mots. Aww. Getting fucked over for putting all your time in, and all your work. You're probably dead now. If that was you. Over there, maybe? Well, this is a bad time. I just keep finding more corpses. I think there's more human corpses than there are animal ones at this point. This is the generator. Important location to think about later, potentially. Did not have the A2 key card, though. Notice, the Grand Colonial Hotel's service elevator is out of order and will be, will be for the foreseeable future. Please use the stairs to transport all equipment to and from the employee quarters until further notice. Additional liniments will be dispersed for those whose back pain becomes too severe to continue providing the impeccable service our hotel is known for. Ah! Ah! They have to transport all the fucking laundry carts and food carts over the stairs? Yeah, this guy just had that problem as a result. Fuck this place. I 
help you catch the killer soon, Inspector. Oh my God! Say unique lines. Talk about the predicament you have, not like the same line as everybody else. I'm trying to humanize you, damn it. Oh, hey, that's where the uh, that's where the chef was, and that's where so there's this door here. Yeah, I just kind of missed it or something. Go figure. Hello again. No new reservations have opened up, unfortunately, so I can't make anything for you right now. You have a look that screams, I have something to ask you about. Well, please, ask away. I have no problem with questions. Why would I? Nope. No update on the poisoning. But I have definitely been lied to. Let's go. Speaking of which... Let's go talk to Spencer. You've discovered so many things. I haven't talked to Belleville for, Belleville for a while. You've returned. Hope you're finding the hotel to your liking. No. Now, what can I lend a hand with? Nope, that's it. For now. What floor? If you see Bernie, get it. Get it. Autograph for me, that's the word. Please, can't you see my heart is bursting at the seams? I absolutely must go out. A quote from the Sisty Cutlet. I voiced a Sisty Pig aware that it was going to be slaughtered. Ask me anything at all. I, I might even give you a straight answer. Well, that's haunting. Are you telling me the smile the sissy pig has in that picture isn't literal? So you tried to poison her, and she also basically got poisoned by the prophet. It's like, people were actively trying to kill her, despite even aside from the person that succeeded. I've learned a thing or two about your activities in the hotel. Oh, have you now? Please do go on. Uh, uh, don't leave me in suspense. So, quick question. What was it you wanted to be wanted with a terror ray bile gland? What? Well, that damned bellhop promised discretion. Well, if you must know, it's um, an appetite suppressant. How do you think I keep my form so lithe? Terror ray glands keep me from feeling hunger pangs. Uh, I've never heard of that. You sure you're talking about terror rays? Their bits tend to give folks the runs. Oh, that's it. I'm firing my nutritionist this instant. You accidentally poisoned yourself with it. Nice contradiction. Want to add another to the pile, or would you rather just come clean? I want to add another to the pile. Oh, no. Wait, I... Oh, bah. No use in pretending. Is there? As it so happens, I may not have had the terror ray gland acquired for personal use. Uh, I may have placed it in Bellamy's meal. But before you indict me, please, just listen. I wasn't trying to kill her. You wanted to give her the run so she couldn't do the presentation. Also, you accidentally poisoned yourself, I think. So you lied about being poisoned. Lie is such a strong word. But even if I had chosen to poison myself, the danger should have been minimal. Terror ray glands aren't supposed to be lethally poisonous. They're supposed to cause extreme lethargy, as if you'd inhaled several quarts of Spectrum Vodka. She would have had to eat six or seven of the glands to die, and even then it would be an extended, arduous process. Yeah, you really seem like a toxicologist. Or maybe you played one on the Aether Wave. No, really. You must listen. I wasn't trying to kill Bellamy. I only wanted her to be incapacitated during the brown unveiling. 
With her out of commission, the next available celebrity, myself, would get to host the unveiling. Please think twice about telling the administrator of my misdeeds. If he learns the truth, what's left of my career will be left in shambles. Why would I care? You're a massive douchebag. And what would you want me to say instead? Tell him, uh, tell him it was a, a poisonous mushroom or a bite from some poisonous insect. An accident. I promise I shall make up for my actions. Pay to erect a statue in Helen's honor, or perhaps even dedicate a performance to her memory. Wow, you'll just do a performance like normal, but you'll say that in front of it. What a sacrifice. I'll keep you in suspense. It's more fun that way. My law, if you aren't a sadist. If I have a coronary before you make your decision, I will do my utmost to haunt you. That's fine. You've been a douchebag every step of the way and you actively wasted my time. So I don't really care about you and obstructing the investigation and whatnot. Got a num we have a multiple reasons to what check in again. Would you like to visit? Next. We've had so many more updates. Inspector. I've completed my investigation into Helen's poisoning. Excellent. I trust you have a name for our poisoner. You just blame somebody else? Oh, poor dead Owens. That's mean. Spencer Woolrich confessed to the crime. Oh, I am disappointed. I'd always believed Mr. Woolrich a man of high character. It pains me to order the arrest and detention of someone I admired. I'd like you to continue investigating Helen's murder. You've found the poisoner, but her killer remains at large. I finished my investigation into Jasmine Leva, the prophet of profitability. Ms. Leva earned that title, but not for the reasons you'd expect. The prophet business has been profitable for the hotel. Not so much for Ms. Leva's followers. So tell me, what did you find? She really wants to be arrested. She wants to be arrested? That's not the kind of behavior I expect from a suspect. Perhaps she's carrying a guilty conscience. Does the Prophet strike you as a reasonable candidate for Helen's murderer? A reasonable candidate? She either did it or she didn't. Of course, Inspector, you know that's what I meant. I'm asking you if you think Jasmine Leva is capable of murdering Helen. Maybe. She needs to be detained until I'm done with my investigation. Arresting the Prophet could spell the end of her career. But that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Me too! Thank you for the update, Inspector. I'll include everything you've told me in my official report. That's cleaned up some of the stuff. We still have a missing person that I partially investigated, but you still need to go back to. I think I need to go back outside first. What floor would you like to visit? Get me out there. Whereabouts are we looking here? Oops, what did I click on? Wait. <laughs> That's not what I'm I don't think I quite did that one right. Wait. Oh. Somehow selected the wrong one. Okay. That was weird. Did you order more loading screens? Because I've got the, the screens for you. 
I don't there I don't think there was a waypoint on the actual place. You still alive? She was distressing, and I thought she was kind of- I thought she was gonna kind of be in a vacuum, like she was her own weird case, and we gotta figure out how she got infected by that worm. Then it became an everywhere problem. Uh... Still not as resolved as I would like, and that it's not coming up as often as you would think it would. gotten into the spectrum in these crates. Listen to this. Come out! Come out to play! Whoa! He's having a grand old time. I'm gonna take him to A2 under the hotel so he can sleep it off. I'll meet you back at the orchard straight after. See you soon. Evan, come on, you slackwit. Ah. Uh, uh. Go back to the penthouse then, I guess. Sounds like I've got reason to go investigate the same place I just was a minute ago. To the lobby. So they locked him in A2, which was the only door I couldn't open, because they're waiting for this reveal, it looks like. That can't be good. That can't be good. That can't be good. Discrepancy detected nearby. Inspector, I've detected a structural anomaly within a 0.8 meter radius of this locked door. Could you narrow that down for me? This floor panel is 0.3 millimeters shorter than regulation length, suggesting unauthorized modification. I'll bear that in mind. Underneath the loose floor panel is a slightly dirty keycard to room A2. You should have been able to find that the first time around. Oh... I don't think that's a person no more. So they, do, they, do they eventually transform into them in their final form? Just become a big old monster? Or like he like came out of them? Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Analysis confirms this is Evan O'Connell. Analysis also confirms he is dead. No kidding, the man had a giant slug crawling on him. Her additional study of this body's skeletal structure, the cause of death was head trauma. Are you telling me he wasn't killed by giant murder slugs? That is correct. Evan was not killed by a Rodanium gigaseus. However, Eridanium gigaseus do appear to be responsible for the early decomposition of this body's surface tissue. Gross. Further analysis indicates Evan's fatal injuries were sustained from blunt force trauma to the back of the skull, and his head collided with the ground. He took a bad fall and cracked his head open. Was it an accident? There are traces of blood on Evan's hands, Inspector. Whose blood? Analysis concludes, this blood is human, type A. Medical records indicate Evan O'Connell's blood is type O. I'd bet money it was Ame that, Ame <laughs> that Amelia is type A. Medical records indicate Amelia Stilwell's blood is indeed type A. Great work, Inspector. I think it's time we talk to Miss Stilwell. If you wish to question Amelia Stilwell, Slug's scheduling records indicate that she is presently on duty at the pilot house checkpoint. Then I guess we'll have to pay her a visit. Didn't it supposedly grow out of him? Isn't that the implication? How is it like bigger than him at this point? I have question. Here it is. I always lose track of where the door is. Beep, beep, beep. 
I think we're grounding up on the end of this. I'm gonna have to try to like synthesize my notes if I can and just and decide who to accuse. I think this is a make an make an accusation sort of situation. Or is there a final argument of some kind? Uh, why are there two different options for where to find this person? Okay, seriously, why are there so many enemies? Doesn't anybody defend this place? I'm not sure what they're going for with these enemies. Like, there's supposed to be people right here. Why isn't anyone doing anything? Non-slug personnel aren't permitted on the pilot house. Can I help you with something? I'm pretty sure I've casually gone everywhere and you never stopped me then. I need to ask you some questions regarding your co-worker, Evan O'Connell. Sure. He in trouble or something? That was some that was some subtle, I'm not lying, just avoiding eye contact. What is this, LA Noir? This game's so lacking in animations that it's, it's, I'm surprised to see such a specific one happening all of a sudden. Yes, dying on corporate property is strictly prohibited. Is this a joke? You're telling me Evan's dead and that's your concern? What is wrong with you? I mean, that's what people always say around here. Sorry, I've seen a lot of bodies in my line of work. It gets to you. Well, I can understand that. I guess. Can, uh... Can I ask what happened? Drop the act. You took him to A2 and you know damn well what happened. I know he got drunk on the job and I took him back to the hotel to sleep it off. Left him on one of the beds in A2. He seemed fine. Bullshit. You killed him when you got to A2, didn't you? No! Why the hell would you even think that? Because of the blood I found. You're type A, right? Well, shit. You really are an inspector, aren't you? I walked Evan to A2, like I said. And then, out of nowhere, he just came at me. One minute, he's laughing and yelling about sharing his joy, and the next, he's choking the life out of me. Grinned the whole time he was trying to kill me, too. How'd you get away? Dumb luck, I guess. I got a good hit in, threw him off, and ran like hell. If I'd known the fall killed him, I... Blah. I don't know. I should have told someone. I've got a few more questions. What do you want to know? I found slugs on he on Evan's body. Big ones. Any idea what that's about? I can't help you there. You don't know either? Can't or won't. Have you been to Purpleberry Orchards, Inspector? Awfully nice out there. You should visit. What are you- oh... Well, think it over. Why didn't you tell anyone Evan attacked you? Because Evan would never attack anyone. I barely believe he attacked me and I was there. Guess it shook me up pretty good. Evan's always been a total sweetheart. I don't get it. How are you holding up? I don't know. The whole thing shook me up something fierce. But I'm still here. I'm upset. Angry at Evan. Sad about him being... You know? Scared folks won't believe me. I'm not much for math, so I couldn't tell you how that averages out. But thanks for asking. That's everything I needed to know. So, what happens now, Inspector? I'm not here to get you in trouble. I just wanted to untangle this web. 
Fair enough. I just wish I could understand why he did what he did. Evan is... He was my friend. Or I thought he was. I don't know. I hope you're able to make more sense of this than I can, Inspector. Are people really just refusing to mention... Let's see. I think people really are just refusing to mention or do any, or do anything about the uh, worms because of the the like the fear atmosphere installed into these corporate situations where they're not supposed to step out of line or say anything or criticize anything. Inspector, you find my missing man? Are you in charge of slug security? Nah, I only manage operations around the hotel. Cedric does most of the maneuvering for Eridanos proper. I don't envy him. The only thing worse than babysitting a couple of hot-headed, overgrown children would be babysitting the entire lot of them. If you hate managing people so much, why, why uh, don't you ask for a transfer? Situation's a little more complicated than you think. Suffice it to say, I'm not inclined to question Slug's place for me anytime soon. Hiding something, huh? I feel like our relationship would be more copacetic if you dropped this line of questioning. Do I look like a reasonable person, or do I look like someone who will keep pestering you until you snap? Oh good, and here I was thinking that today was going along too smoothly. I might have used to work for Auntie Cleo. Might have been security manager of a small pharmaceutical lab. After workplace spat number 175, I decided to defect. Defection isn't taken lightly. Can't go back, so now I'm slug for life. What if she was on Gorgon or something? The pool guard told me to talk to you, said you'd, you'd have some advice. Oh, thank the law you're here about the pool. That crucial thing that isn't my job to fix, and that as such, I don't care about. If you want advice, here it is. Don't talk to that imbecile ever again. Even by my crew standards, he's duller than a telescoping staff. I put him on pool duty to keep him away from me, and now he's up my ass more than ever. How hard could it possibly be to guard a void damn pool? I found O'Connell. He's dead. Shit. That's fucking inconvenient. What happened? Why, well, you're so torn up about it. He attacked Amelia Stillwell, who unintentionally killed him in self-defense. No shit. I, I gotta tell you, Evan's never been written up for so much as an impolite look. He attacked her? You sure? I'm satisfied she's telling the truth. Damn. Okay. Also, Evan was covered in slugs when I found him. That's unusual, but I don't see how that factors in. Me either, but I intend to find out. I d Does my character also not understand? I feel like the entire slug situation is relatively obvious throughout the DLC and everyone's acting like they don't know about it. And even my own character has weird dialogue choices like, he doesn't know about it? Was I supposed to do this entire quest first and they just like forgot their game's non-linear and I can just wander in any direction at any, at any time and I went directly into the most sluggy place of the, of the entire DLC first. Me either, but I intend to find out. Good for you. That's a nice go-getter attitude you got there. I hope you do figure it out, but my involvement ends here. I gotta figure out who the fuck's replacing Evan. We're short-staffed as it is. A new day, a new pain in my ass. You don't even really care about him, apparently. And now we're down to that. Hmm. Gorgon and audio logs. Erdanas audio logs. That's just audio logs. Huh.
And was that my first time meeting her, by the way? How did I get that? Did I get the quest from her directly or from another source? Because all the dialogue was fresh. Maybe I met her somewhere else, and then she moved here. A lot of characters move after the first time you talk to them. A lot of pocket watches lying around. Hmm. So I don't think... Eh. I would like to review all of my notes Paradise Killer style. Like everything I've learned over the course of the last 10 hours, because it's a lot to try to condense into one thing. I don't think I'm going to get that opportunity. Welcome, Bellamy. Oh, it's her computer. Welp. Ludovico's grateful. Thank you for choosing the Eridanos Atmospheric Complex as the site of your next publicity and marketing campaign. By endorsing the Spectrum Brown product, you are allying yourself with a revolution in the leisure beverage market. Indeed, in the culture of Halcyon itself. We're going to change the world together. Sincerely, Quentin Ludovico. Profit of profitability. Disappointed. Helen, I don't understand why you and I must be enemies. Are we not both branches of the same tree of privilege? You command audiences with your masterly performances on the Aether Wave, and I command the attention of your corporate leaders. We're both cultural icons with the responsibility to set a good example. I, I'm disappointed to discover that you've berated my seminars publicly and on official records. I take particular umbrage with your characterization of my most recent seminar, spearheading your project, how to motivate your workforce using ancient weaponry, as a, and I quote, nonsensical vanity project from a dyed-in-the-wool buffoon. These are fighting words. Expect to hear from my personal auditors soon. Sincerely, Profitability, P.O. Money can't buy happiness and other lies we tell ourselves. A new seminar by the Prophet of Profitability. Oh, God. Free advice from Cedric Kincannon. Miss Bellamy, you're a talented actor. I've enjoyed all your roles across the years. I'm especially fond of your performance in Terror on Monarch. Ludovico doesn't appreciate the serials. Maybe that's why he never knows when he's being played. He still thinks you're here to endorse Spectrum Brown. Your performance has him fooled. I have a belief I know what you're up to. I'm always a little disappointed when the audience is a few steps ahead of the plot. Best, Cedric. Guest advisories. Your safety is our responsibility. In light of the recent unfortunate events regarding the passage of a beloved cultural icon, we at the Grand Colonial have doubled the number of armed guards for a small... So yeah, we've got this. For a small surcharge, we're charging you for it. Fuck you. Hmm. I'm definitely a little worried. I'm just like, how is this going to be structured? How do I choose who to accuse? Can I even review my evidence overall? Because it's been a lot of DLC. Two people that are dead are crossed out. Like, this has been updated over time. Oh yeah, everyone's kind of mixed in. This board is covered with a loose collection of photographs and papers. Something is rotten in Eridanos. With the every step of your investigation, you come closer to the truth. Examine your suspects. Here we go. Who could have killed Halcyon Helen? What was their motive? Wow, this is a lot now. Okay. Uh, look at Brittany Holcomb. Black Hole Birdie Holcomb, the Hole Meister, the Hack Attack. Birdie was dating Helen at the time of her death. Could the hot headed hacker be a cold blooded killer? Seems like it's not him, but it's just a mess. Examine the broken toss ball stick. A ruined picnic at the Purpleberry Orchard. A toss ball stick snapped in half. Were they arguing? Did Birdie lose control of his temper? So here's a chance to review Spencer Woolrich. Spencer Woolrich, the supporting actor of the colony's leading woman. Was Halcyon Helen's old rival responsible for sending her into retirement? 
the footage. He discovered incriminating footage of the hotel kitchen, where Chef Anwar looks away. Spencer Woolrich can be seen tampering with Helen's food. A standard record of special requests made by hotel guests, including in its list a curious request for a terror egg land. On behalf of Mr. Spencer Woolrich, the request was fulfilled. But he seemed like he was just trying doing what he said. Like he, he seemed earnest in his confession. Burbage, three thousand and one. The most sophisticated acting auto mechanical since Burbage 3000. If an auto mechanical lacks sentience, can they truly be guilty of murder? Or was Burbage 3001 merely an accessory? Repurposed weaponry is a common feature of the colony's auto mechanicals. As an acting auto mechanical, Burbage 3001's equipment may be frequently be upgraded or replaced to suit his roles. You learn that Burbage 3001's most recent upgrade was performed by Spencer Woolrich. That is prop gun. The prophet of profit, uh, Jasmine Leva, the prophet of profitability. Her seminars on wealth, prosperity, and the alignment of one's humors attract wealthy Byzantines to Eridanos. Does the heart of a vicious killer lurk beneath her, beneath her spiritual veneer? What prevents you from unlocking your true potential? Natural talent? Mental faculties? Crippling anxiety? No, says Jasmine Leeva. Her, your humors must be realigned with the profitable currents of the universe. It's difficult to imagine why Helen might have held the profit in contempt. The profit of profitability deploys a curious bouquet of herbs in her therapy sessions. These herbs run the gamut from bizarre to exotic. They all share one quality. Their side effects are highly unpleasant and potentially fatal. Nope, went too far back. Cedric Kincannon. Sublight Underground's boss. Proprietor of the Grand Colonial Hotel and Perius Spaceport. Administrator Ludovico's old rival. Killer of Halcyon and Helen? That's literally all it says. The mascot, who's also dead. The mascot for Wizards Rangers Tossball team. He was in your room, searching through Helen's belongings. Did Black Hole Birdie really send him? Why was he so terrified? Huh. Burbage would be a silly person to be the killer, but his name does start with a B, so does Birdie. Spencer and Prophet seem to both be up to other things. Cedric gained motivation after she was dead already. But then we're out of people, more or less. So that's not great. Wonder if we missed out on someone. The list of victims. There's a killer loose on Eridanos. Halcyon Helen. Ruth Bellamy, universally known by her role as Halcyon Helen, Princess of Periodicals and Duchess of Dramaturgy. Helen was killed in the Grand Colonial Hotel ba Ballroom. Dr. Blossom. Dr. Leora Blossom, head of research at the RR&DD Labs, located in Purpleberry Orchards. Dr. Blossom's lab was under attack by her own technicians. During the chaos, an unknown assailant murdered her. You listen to her final moments over an intercom. Oops. Constable Maria Keane killed at her desk. The nature of her wounds is familiar to you. As someone got a hold of the gun and started killing people with it. We never found it. Am I missing an entire quest still, maybe? Consider the Eridanos Atmospheric Complex. After Helen's murder, authorities placed a lockdown on all incoming and departing spacecraft. You are, as far as you know, the only exception. Jasmine Leva, the prophet of profitability, holds a retreat in the Wilderness Exploitation Reserve, not far from the hotel. Wealthy patrons are encouraged to enjoy the hotel's amenities where they're not, when they're not busy purging themselves of harmful, unprofitable humors gathered inside their anatomy. The business end of Sublight Underground, something of a misnomer, as Sublight Underground's operations are about as high above the ground as any location in Halcyon. That was Purious Spaceport. Uh, Purpleberry Orchards. 
The purpleberry orchards are responsible for growing and cultivating the Rizzo's pr uh, proprietary purpleberry, an essential ingredient in the majority of Rizzo's confections and beverages, no mention of the worms. Rizzo's workers seem uncomfortably happy at all the time. Look at Rizzo's research and Rizzo's research and development lab. What's the DD? I, R R is Rizzo's research, I guess. The RR and DD lab, formerly operated by Dr. Leora Blossom, Helen's trail led you to RR and DD lab. But when you arrived, something had driven its lab technicians to a violent frenzy. Hmm. Additional evidence. Loose ends, critical clues, or red saltuna. Dr. Amir Zhao's logs. Dr. Amir Zhao's logs predate the development of Rizzo Spectrum Brown. These logs describe one researcher's breakthrough, the discovery of a strange new life form in the caverns beneath the Wilderness Exploitation Reserve. This life form, known as Eridanium gagaceus, is an essential ingredient in Rizzo Spectrum Brown that's not good. Don't do that. The model needler gun. This is an exact replica of the Needler, Helen's signature weapon. You discovered traces of chemicals in Helen's upturned luggage. Something removed the Needler from her belongings. Someone did. Why does she have a real Needler? You think it'd be a prop gun? The bottle of Rizzo's. Spectrum Brown, Rizzo's newest flavor of Spectrum Vodka. Or a disaster waiting to happen. At the bottom of each bottle lies the corpse of a parasitic life form, guaranteed to enhance flavor and improve your mood. Uh, is it a corpse, though? You said that they're going to stasis. I still think this is a worm invest. I think this is still a worm, uh... Invasion! 